Ladies and gentlemen, an honor and a privilege to invite the chairman of the Aditya Birla Group, Kumar Mangalam Birla. Mr. Birla, I'm going to start with a question that many of us have on our mind. What is the secret behind that calm, ever-present, Lord Krishna-like smile on your face, <laughs> despite the turbulence that you see all around you? and you continue to go about business as usual. So I think, you know, if, you're, if you've got a great team and um, all of you are working very hard, doing the right things, doing the best that you can, you know, you've got to do the best and then forget about the rest, as they say. <laughs> all right. Can I actually get some breaking news out of you today? It will, of course, for me, make history as a journalist or a business journalist. It, it, nobody's got it. What's the next business you're looking to acquire? Or even if you can hint at the geography, that'll be great. Well, no new business because I think we've got uh, a very interesting uh, slate of businesses uh, which have uh, huge growth potential almost across all of them. Uh, in terms of new geographies, uh, we're expanding in Brazil, we're expanding in Indonesia. We're also looking at South Africa. All right, but no concrete answer. <laughs> Well, there is no new uh, business segment that we're looking at. Uh, there are enough challenges, enough opportunities in the, one, in the ones that we exist in already. Well, first of all, congratulations. You know, the question I'd like to ask you, what do you think is the most important thing government should do to reduce this turbulence and uncertainty? I think um, government has to be a provider of infrastructure and uh, not be interventionist. Uh, aren't you being very polite? Once they, they actually created the turbulence, so maybe should, they should just stop doing it. So I think um, I must say that uh, this morning, uh, the, the finance minister had, had about 40 of us uh, in a room, and he actually sat with each one of us and talked us, uh, asked us about each of our projects and the issues related to each of our projects, and he took notes down himself, and he you know, had, had very perceptive questions to ask uh, for our issues. And that's very heartening. Yeah. I, I don't uh, hear of a finance minister who does some, something like that. And um, so that gives one great hope, and I think that uh, going, going from uh, what we saw this morning, I think that one expect, expects a bend in the road and positive changes to happen very soon. I'm knew your father very well and was a great admirer of his and I can tell you he'd be very, very proud of you today. But like any father or any friend of your father, I'd still like to ask you what worries you? There's nothing about work that worries me, uh, Pranoy. I'm just made that way because I think, like I said, after you've done everything you could um, and there's nothing more that you can do there's no point in worrying. So it's no, nothing about work really gets me that agitated that I can't sleep at night. It's just not worth it. That's wonderful to hear. <laughs> in fact, I think we should ask Neeruja that. Oh, a great interview on ADTV Good Times where you said you do have one weakness and that's your children. Neeruja, he may not accept here, but do you think some worries he does come and share with you? Um, like he said, he doesn't really get agitated at all over work. I think it is uh, the family and the children that really uh, do worry him. But fortunately, there is really nothing to worry about the children. <laughs> you take care of that. <laughs> and is she part of your calm, the big reason for your calm, composure, and of course... Yeah, you know, you've got to be a counterfoil to someone who's very excitable. So <laughs> you don't have a choice then. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Birla, and congratulations once again. It was Thank an you. honor Thanks to present so this award.